Get over there. Come on. You good, right? Throwing the needle here. Space between three, you're responding Delta to a multi vehicle MVC on Highway 16 East. Possibility of five patients. No reports of chemicals or entrapment. We don't really have an idea of severity of injuries right now, but we do know that nobody's trapped, so that's a good thing. This is a bad intersection. There's, I've done a Code 5 out here before. Code 5 means that someone is dead on scene, and I have done Code 5s at this intersection before. There we go, there's a the unit going over there. There's a hose here, watch out. Where are you going? Over here, man. Oh, I'm gonna go to this. Why? Well, where's the people? Well, I don't know. Dane's trying to give me a hard time about my driving. He may be higher trained, but I'm the more senior medic on car. Sorry, he's driving. I see multiple RCMP officers. First responders are there, as well as another ambulance. You got patients over there, or over uh, just over here? right there, the guy, his arm, and then there's another female passenger that was being, was being checked out, I think, in the back of the lesson truck. So. Oh, okay. Okay? All right. Thanks. After getting the story on scene, it seems that one vehicle ran a stop sign and T-boned the other car. Oh wow, that's that's total day. Arrived on scene, we had five patients. We immediately did a triage situation of the five patients and continued to follow through with our medical assessment. I missed all that. What's happening? We got five patients. Okay, over there. This one has an arm injury. Okay. okay. And there is another lady in the rescue unit over here. So these guys were the ones coming down the highway. Okay. And the older gentleman here driving that car just kind of came shooting across and they t boarded him. I'll go over there then and just talk with them. All three in here say they have no injuries. Shaking up. And you guys are all good, hey? I got hit in the face with the airbag and some glass, but I'm fine. We were coming down north, coming north, and the car looked like it was stopping, and all of a sudden it just didn't. It come flying through and it hit us. You okay, pal? Anytime your body is exposed to an event of stress or injury. What's wrong? My stomach really hurts. Your stomach hurts now? Yeah. You go into a state of fight or flight. It's a survival instinct that causes a massive release of adrenaline inside your body. I don't know. I mean, it's tough to tell. It makes you not feel injuries. It makes you more aware of your surroundings. And so when that adrenaline wears off... Where about is the pain in your stomach? You start to feel aches and pains that you didn't feel when you were in the height of the moment. Do you remember everything that happened? You never lost consciousness, I eh? I never lost consciousness. I just didn't see it. All of a sudden, bang, Lynn Hollard. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna jump in first. Well, I think we should probably take the proper precautions, put you in a, in a collar, yeah. and take you to the hospital, okay, and get you checked out, so. So we need to take spinal precautions, and we put this guy in a seat collar. Everything from seat belts to airbags to crumple zones worked in these people's favor, and they're all able to walk away with very minor injuries from what could have been a very catastrophic accident.